Hey guys, in today's video, going to be touching on four polls that have come out over the past few days. Going to start with a Texas-based poll from Emerson Polling, and then also we have three national-based polls from different outlets. And if you're a Joe Biden supporter, definitely some very strong signs from his candidacy now that he's come out and announced that he is running. Perhaps a bit more of a boost in his numbers than we're, most were expecting anyways, given the fact that with universal name recognition, Joe Biden, you figured a lot of his support was already baked into his numbers, but it does seem like he has gotten a bit of a boost ever since he has come out and made that announcement. So I'm going to start here with this Emerson Texas poll, and you can see Joe Biden just leading the way by one percentage point over Beto O'Rourke. Biden in there at 23% support. Beto O'Rourke at 22, and then Bernie Sanders at 17%. Behind him, we have Pete Buttigieg at 8, Elizabeth Warren at 7, Julian Castro at 4, Andrew Yang at 3, Kamala Harris at 3, and Amy Klobuchar at 3, and then everyone else is at 1 percentage point or less. Now, in the state of Texas, the two candidates that really need to knock it out of the park here are obviously Beto O'Rourke. I'd say if O'Rourke doesn't go on and win Texas, it means that more than likely he's probably not going to be able to go on and win the nomination as a whole and not just win Texas, but do so by at least somewhat of a margin. And then another candidate there, Julian Castro, the fact that he's only pulling at 4% in Texas, not the greatest sign for his chances to go on and win the presidency. Now going on and looking at the general election head-to-head -head matchup between Donald Trump and some of these better performing Democratic 2020 candidates, you can see here Trump actually down to Biden by one percentage point, 49 to 50, very close there. Trump versus O'Rourke tied at 50, Sanders within two percentage points and within the margin of error, these top three candidates all within that margin of error, which is 3.4%. And then Warren down by six percentage points, Harris down by eight, and Pete Buttigieg also down by eight percentage points. But we're seeing, at least in the early on polling out of the state of Texas, that some of the stronger Democratic candidates, Biden, O'Rourke, as well as Sanders in particular in Texas, are either pulling ahead even or just slightly behind Trump in what is looking like it could possibly be a relatively competitive matchup in Texas based on who the Democrats go on and nominate in 2020. There's also a handful of candidates that could possibly go on and win the nomination that you wouldn't necessarily give as good of a chance perhaps as Biden, O'Rourke, and Sanders. And we're seeing that in the numbers again at this very early point in the process. So now we have three more polls that I want to touch on. Now going over and taking a look at the Rasmussen poll here for that 2020 Democratic field. And they don't lay it out in the easiest way to read, but just going to be touching on some of the upper tier candidates. And that's starting with Joe Biden leading the way at 33% of support, 37% of men, 30% of that female support. And then we have Pete Buttigieg at 5% support. Scrolling down here, we have Kamala Harris at 5% of support, and Beto O'Rourke at 5%, Elizabeth Warren at 6%, and then in second place here, we have Bernie Sanders at 16% support. Only 12% of his support coming from men in this poll compared to 20% coming from female. So out of this sample size, that was 37 men compared to 86 women. So the narrative out there anyway is that Bernie Sanders the Bernie bros mythology behind his candidacy that only white men support him, at least in the poll numbers that we generally see, he typically does even better with women than he's doing with men in terms of just his overall support as well as favorability numbers. And we're seeing that again, at least in this particular poll, quite significantly uh, more so women supporting his candidacy than men. But in this particular poll, Bernie Sanders down quite a bit to front runner Joe Biden with that 16% of support in comparison to Biden, who's at 33%. And this is a continuing trend that we're going to see in these next couple of polls as well. So now we have the updated CNN poll, and you can see a big boost here for Joe Biden. He's now up to 39%. Just a month ago, he, he was at 28%. Biden has gained while Sanders has receded a little bit here to 15% support compared to the 19 that he was at a month ago. And then behind him, we have Elizabeth Warren at eight, Pete Buttigieg at seven, Beto O'Rourke at six, Kamala Harris at five, and then everyone else is at two percentage points or less. And now we're going to wrap up this video, taking a look at that morning consult poll and a big boost here again for Joe Biden from where he was last week after he's come out and made his announcement. He gained six points up to 36% support while Bernie receded just a little bit here down to 22%. We've also seen a little bit of 
better performances from Elizabeth Warren in these more recent polls compared to where she had been. She's had a really good week or so of just coming out and having really strong policy-driven proposals that I think has excited a lot of different people. And we're seeing that in her numbers, I feel, uh, with her gaining just a little bit. And she's at 9% in this one, gaining two points. And then behind her, we have Pete Buttigieg at eight, Kamala Harris at seven, Beto O'Rourke at five, Cory Booker at three, and then again, everyone else at two percentage points or less. And we look at those early states, Joe Biden gaining again here. He's up at 38%, Sanders at 22, Elizabeth Warren at nine. And just scrolling down and taking a look at the boost that candidates have got after they made their announcement in the polls here with Morning Consult. Both Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders got six-point boosts. Kamala Harris got five. Pete Buttigieg got two. Beto O'Rourke just got one. Cory Booker got zero. So those are the four polls that I wanted to touch on here in this video. You can see with those national numbers, Biden is creeping up a bit. We'll see if this is a trend that continues for him. I'm more of on the side where we get into the process. He has his record go through more scrutiny, especially on the debate stage. I think that that can have a negative impact possibly on Biden, but you'd think that people would be well aware of his record. He's been in line with a lot of things that aren't necessarily lockstep with the Democratic base, but he still gets very strong approval numbers and very strong polling. So perhaps voters have kind of just more compartmentalize that and put it in the past and maybe they just feel like joe biden is the best chance for the democrats to go on and take donald trump and that's the most important factor in their voting but we'll see how this plays out over the coming year i'd be surprised if biden continued to add on to where we're currently seeing him if he were able to get up into the 40 percent range that would be certainly somewhat of a surprise especially considering how many candidates are in the field right now but it would be very impressive if he was able to do that he's in a really strong position right now in terms of him compared to the rest of the field and if you're a bernie sanders supporter you have to be worrying at least a little bit the fact that his support has gone down at least slightly where it feels like perhaps Joe Biden and Elizabeth Warren might be taking some of those numbers. But this is just a small number of polls here in a very specific period of time. And we'll see how these numbers continue to adapt going forward. And also just that poll that we got from Texas, very positive signs for the Democratic Party that their candidates are within striking distance or right in around where Trump is polling in that state it could be very interesting to see what happens in the state of texas in 2020 so that's going to wrap this one up guys thanks for stopping on in consider subscribing for more poll analysis in the future and i hope to see you guys back here for my next video